Hey, bud. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning to the internet. Hello, internet. How are you? I guess it's still a little tired. Yeah. Okay, where are we, bud? Well, we happen to be at our first non-QS place in three years. We made it to Sarasota. We're at the Boring Fields. Uh, we came up here just to spend the holidays with our parents before. Thus the sweater. Thus the cozy sweater. Um, these are from, uh, these are alpaca sweaters from Peru. Um, anyways, yeah, we're going to spend the holidays up here before we actually head off and start cruising sometime in January. Wanted to say hello. Sorry, it's been a while. As you guys know, it's been a mad rush just to get the boat finally ready. Um, and uh, we're going to start posting a lot more videos and pictures and keep you along with us on our travels. So, yes. Um, our trip up here was really awesome. Jordan installed our wind vane and our autopilot, which were blessed friends. <laughs> um, I think I kissed that wind vane couple of times on our way down. It's just such a different way to sail than we have been previously over the dry tortugas and our little short trips. Do you want to kiss it right now? Yes. So it's a monitor wind vane made by Scanmar and it's it worked like an absolute charm. There was definitely a little bit of um, you know there's a learning curve and we're still not perfect at it but I mean it, it worked really well. Definitely met our expectations. Um, and uh, it just made the passage, which was 36 hours from Key West to Sarasota, Florida, um, it made the passage just so much more enjoyable than we than it was hand steering to the Tortugas. It's crazy how how awful hand steering for four hours in the middle of the night by yourself can be. Whereas if you don't have to just stare at one star and constantly worry about your course, that you can listen to an audiobook, you can do some reading, make some co coffee. <clears throat> so it was a really fun time. And Atticus finally feels actually like a voyaging ship rather than just like a day sailing boat. Um, so we can't wait to keep using it. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to spend Christmas with our folks and uh, maybe try and make a little bit of money here. We're very short on money. <laughs> we're very, very short on cash. Um, if we can't get any work here, then uh, we're going to just sail for Cuba and then work our way along Central America all the way to um, Guatemala, to the Rio Dulce. And uh, I've heard that for people with our skill sets that can do, you know, canvas work, Desiree, or um, uh, just boat repair work, or even maybe running a boat, captain and mate stuff, um, that sort of stuff I hear the Rio Dulce is good for, so we'll, uh, we'll try and make a little bit of money there um, before continuing our way down to Panama by the end of the season. So that's the plan, but Desiree has something to talk about for Christmas. Oh yeah, so a bunch of you have been asking how you can contribute to our project. Um, we've never had a donate button or a Patreon page in the past just because we wanted to bootstrap the whole project with our own two hands. Um, but we decided to post our Christmas wish list to our Facebook page, um, and it's just our, our private wish list for our own families. Um, but we thought we could throw it out there for you guys if you want to send us a little a little happiness for the holidays. Um, and it's all boat-related items. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an Xbox 360. Well, <laughs> gosh, I don't even know what the new Xbox is anymore. <laughs> Very out of it. But uh, all boat-related items. Yeah, like our cheapest item is a $3 used uh, sea survival manual. So anyways, go. yeah, if you want to send us something, just send me a message, and I'll send you our address. Um, but for all of you guys who've been following us for these three years, thanks for sticking around.